Hey guys, welcome back. So today we will do a therapeutic session of cleaning, flushing, and then inking some of my fountain pens that I have laid out here for you today. So this may seem a lot to many fountain pen users. So what I'll do is that I will clean all of these and some of them I will just clean and flush and then just store away until I decide to use them again. And then some of them I will be inking with a different ink. So to those of you who are part of fountain pen communities, they always ask how many pens should you have inked at a time. It really depends on you on how much you write. And generally they suggest not to ink a lot of pens as you know, you might tend to forget or miss out that some pens have ink in them and then they stay out too long and the ink dries up, it clogs your nibs, your feeds, or sometimes, worst case scenario, you see some mold growth inside of your pens. So for the more delicate ones like Urushis, um, you really want to avoid that. So a very good practice is to just have your mostly used fountain pens to a minimum, um, just making sure that you rotate them every now and again with your general collection. So let's do a run through of the pens that I will be cleaning. Some of them storing away and some of them I will be inking um, for this month's use. So the first one is a Lamy Safari with the collaboration with Line Friends. I have this in the EF nib and I will be cleaning, flushing, and then storing this away. So the next one is a Pilot Kakuno. It's in the F nib and I will also be cleaning, flushing, and storing this. This one is my newly acquired Twisby Diamond 580 in the rose gold. And I have it in the fine nib. And I will be inking this today. So I, I will put this in the inking pile. Next is my Twisby Eco Rose Gold. So this is the Eco version, the white. And I have this in the broad nib. So I'm, I might be inking this up as I need to have a broad pen at any given time. So yeah, I will ink this up. Next is a Twisby Mini. This is also in the rose gold. It's in the fine nib. And for this one, I will be cleaning, flushing, and storing it away. This one is a Nagasawa Century Skeleton in the Rose Gold Demonstrator. This is in the EF nib. So this is one of the cleaner, crisp, very thin precise um, nib and I have this constantly inked with Diamine Cherry Sunburst so I will just be refilling her up and yeah putting her back with my weeks. Next is the Pilot Kakuno Demonstrator. It's in the EF nib. I will be cleaning, flushing, and storing this away. Next is the Sailor Professional Gear. It's in the black with the gold trim. I have it in the, I think this is the hard, hard medium, 18 karat gold. Oh no, wait. 21, sorry. So the 21 karat gold. And right now I will be just 
cleaning, flushing, and storing it. Next is my Mont Blanc. It's the 145 Classic with the precious resin and platinum trim. And I have it in the EF nib. And I will be cleaning, flushing, and storing this away. So I want to give my other pens a chance to use them. And lastly, I have this Mont Blanc in the Legrand Sir Arthur Conan Doyle Writer's Edition pen. This is in the fine nib. And I will be inking him up. Okay, so I have four pens to ink and then these six I will be flushing, cleaning them, and then storing them for the next use. So let's start, shall we?
So if you're still here, thank you so much. I know that some people find these types of videos therapeutic. So um, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. But for this portion, I have four pens that I will be inking. Two will be flushed. And these two are actually brand new. Uh, they've only been... Yeah, I, I haven't used it except for um, a dip test. So these two I will flush and then these two I will ink. But before I proceed, I will just share with you what I plan to ink these pens with. Okay. So for the Twist B Diamond Rose Gold, I plan to put Diamine Oxford Blue. So I think this will be a good pairing. For my Twisby Eco Rose Gold in the broad nib. I know it's broad, yeah. For the broad nib, I will have it inked with Pilot Iroshizuku Yamabudo. I really love this ink, surprisingly. I Before this, I wasn't really a magenta um, type of person, but I really enjoy having at least one pen inked uh, with Yamabudo. The third one, which is the Sir Arthur Conan Doyle in the F nib, I plan to have this inked with Mont Blanc Ultramarine. So, yep, another blue. And this has undertones of purple. So, yep, I look forward to using this ink. And last but not the least, I'm not really sure if I need to flush it. Maybe I'll just, I mean, for the interest of time, maybe I'll just re-ink it with Cherry Sunburst Diamine. This is from the Guitar Lip All Collection. And I really like this shade for this pen. So, yeah, so it looks like I'll just be flushing one pen and uh, the rest I will ink. All right.